Welcome everyone. This is Rosemary coming to you from Ansar Angels. It's March 29th, 2013, and it's Good Friday. Happy Easter, everyone. This is a presentation regarding, there's a lot in the media yesterday and today about the FBI releasing its UFO vault file, and the most viewed vault file was the really the Roswell and other UFO incidents. Uh, they made that public in 2011, as far as I can uh, see here. There's, it seems like every other year, they, they put uh, more UFO disclosure in the news, and then sort of no, nothing really comes of it. It's sort of like a disclosure, UFO disclosure strip tease. Uh, I guess that's the way they're going to handle disclosure. Uh, by just releasing things very slowly and just kind of seeping, you know, seeping it in to the consciousness of everyone, so we can all get used to it. You know, the, there's all kinds of uh, different ways it can be introduced so that everybody can be comfortable with it. I suppose. Uh, personally, I'm someone who believes it's a very big universe and there's room for all kinds of beings and creatures, and so I don't have a problem with believing in this kind of thing. It just uh, it gets a little frustrating, you know, just tell us already. I understand there's all kinds of big business and money, um, you know, the petrodollar and all that stopping proper disclosure. And then there's religious concerns, which we'll look at in a moment here. Okay, so we've got alien beings that are being disclosed in the FBI files. We've got uh, events. This, this was an event that happened... Uh, a year or two back where it was like an interdimensional craft and no one could really quite figure out what was going on there and, and there was also some things seen in China there, there was some activity and then you know again nothing really came of it then there's this issue with the Vatican where for a few years now they've been saying okay well we are gonna allow you to believe in aliens because we believe that, you know, it's a big universe, and if you're limiting God's ability to create, you're limiting God. So it's almost like you kind of have to believe in aliens, or else if you don't, then you're limiting God. So it might become a doctrine. You know, and I'm okay with that, too, because I agree with it. Uh, forcing people to believe things I don't agree with, but, you know, I don't think they're going to do that. I don't think they're that silly. But anyway, the word, interestingly enough, the word alien is very similar to the word alien, uh, in biblical terminology and uh, you know Elohim, Elion, the Elion, and it, it's they're all interdimensional beings, and there could be all kinds of beings with all kind of different looks. This is obviously a, a alien Jesus and alien Bible uh, that was you know popular culture. This was an angel uh, cloud, a, a cloud formation that looks like an angel of light that was seen in the skies in Florida on three thirteen. Uh, 13, meaning March 13, 2013, the day that Pope Francis I was announced and declared Pope. So that was interesting. And again, aliens and Elion, the Most High, uh, are, you know, are above the Elion, but the Elion, aliens, it all, and angels, it all, you know, starts to be similar. Because aliens and angels are interdimensional beings. And I would imagine that, um, you know, we have Enoch, and we have Ezekiel, and the Merkaba fields that are all obviously interdimensional wheels within wheels of light. Okay, and some of the FBI files, you know, we're starting to wonder, is this another alien hoax? But the FBI files are not really saying that these are, th that these are hoaxes. They're in their files and taken seriously. Okay. Some of the pictures are taken more seriously than others, obviously. Okay, this is the memorandum that's been, you know, shown on the FBI vault site. The following information was furnished, furnished to, and then it's blacked out. An investigator for the Air Force stated that the the three so-called flying saucers had been recovered in New Mexico. They were described as being circular in shape with raised centers approximately 50 feet in diameter. Each one was occupied by three bodies of human shape, but only three feet tall, dressed in metallic cloth of a very fine texture. Each body was bandaged in a manner similar to the blackout suits used by speed flyers 
and test pilots. According to Mr. Blank informant, the saucers were found in New Mexico due to the fact that the government has a very high powered radar set up in that area and it is believed the radar interferes with the controlling mechanism of the saucers. No further valuation was attempted by Blank uh, concerning the above. Okay, so right now they're making a big deal out of this again. Again, we're tired of the strip tease <laughs> of alien disclosure. We can only hope we'll meet our space brothers soon. Okay, thank you for listening, everybody, and you have a great day. Again, happy Easter.